Welcome back to Sales Insights with Sarah. This is the podcast for sales professionals and business leaders looking to implement new strategies and drive sales growth in their organizations. I'm your host, Sarah Downs, and my guests and I will be sharing with you some of our own experiences in business and sales insights to help you gain focus and take action. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Sales Insights with Sarah podcast. So today I would like to talk about working hard versus working smart and really focused on the point that there's never enough hours in the day when it comes to sales. So this is stemmed from a couple of recent conversations I've had with salespeople who feel like they're just going around in circles. They're starting early in the morning, they're finishing late at night, they're even working sometimes at the weekends. Now these are employed sales professionals, so it's not their own business, um, they are working for someone else and they feel like they're constantly at it and that they have to be to try and get the results they need. And I remember feeling like this in some of, I guess, my earlier years as a salesperson, especially when I was still learning and feeling like I had to try and get people that were going to be around and available first thing in the morning, after the office closed, at lunchtime. And when it came to more social selling techniques, we know that different times of day can work because of time zones and just people checking in on things like LinkedIn when they're having some downtime. So I completely get it. However, anybody that's working around the clock um, and isn't getting the results, I think really needs to have a good look at what they're actually doing within all of these hours that they're working. So I guess, you know, you will have heard it before, It goes back to that point, work hard or work smart. So a lot of people work hard, but you can work hard running yourself into the ground. You can work hard on your way to burnout. And if we don't know what you're actually doing and you're not measuring that and understanding the success, it can absolutely be, you know, exhausting rather than benefiting what you're trying to do. So to work smart, what we need to do is be very aware of the tasks at hand. You know, what are we actually doing with that time? What are we measuring? So for example, if you're spending time prospecting in the mornings, are you measuring that? Is it working if you're picking up the phone, for example? Or are there certain times of day that work better for you on social or on emails? Or maybe it doesn't matter for many people. Now with the more online approach, it doesn't actually matter. But also, what are the tasks? Are you focusing purely on kind of that lead generation, prospecting, push, push, push? Or are you building personal brand, building relationships and rapport through things like LinkedIn content as well to support driving. Maybe you're running events or thinking about doing so. For example, webinars, roundtables, demos. There's so many tasks that we can do in sales. And that's not even getting started with networking and attending other people's events and all the industry intel that we need to collect. So I am probably speaking at 100 miles per hour because I'm hoping that you're feeling (laughs) the almost anxiety of when someone is moving fast and pushing fast and how that feels for you when you're in that zone. And I think in sales, it can be really easy to get into the zone and almost get addicted to the adrenaline and that push that can come with it. But please do just take some time out and become self-aware on how you're feeling during different times of the day, different tasks. When are you starting to feel exhausted? Maybe take a break. It's okay not to work 20 hours a day, six days a week in sales. You know, nobody is probably expecting that from you. And if you're expecting that from yourself, the chances are you don't feel you're performing. And therefore, we need to look at 
what you're doing, how you're doing it and help you work smarter and not necessarily harder. So really, this is just to prompt some internal dialogue, I guess, some thoughts. If this is something you're struggling with, please do reach out and I'm happy to share some more, I guess, information on what I did to stop being in the rat race. Um, But a lot of that really does come down to keeping an eye on what you're spending your time on, measuring that whether it's working, whether it's not working, what's working the best and start just really taking note of those things. So I hope you all have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for listening to the Sales Insights with Seda podcast. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already so that you are notified of every new episode. If you could take a few minutes to leave a review, it would be greatly appreciated. See you next time.